Hi, welcome back to Mr. Stewart's lessons. We're going to finish up this uh, little starting game we made here, and uh, let's face it, this is never exactly going to win the Game of the Year award, but this is really just an introduction to what Greenfoot can do. Uh, next time, I promise we'll make something that's more like a real game. Uh, but I would like this to just to end with um, something that's with an in actual end game screen, which will, and this will teach us some new concepts like how Greenfoot's worlds work, uh, some beginning graphics commands, and the concept of a constructor, which is a really important uh, concept in Java. So uh, when the game ends, we're going to go to a new world. So first, we're going to make a new world. And so that's a pretty easy thing to do. We do it the same way we do it with actors. We're going to create a new subclass of world. And I will call this end game screen. Uh, when you're making worlds, you, there are backgrounds you can use. And um, the backgrounds, it's the, it'll, it'll just tile these in. I'll show you an example of that next time. But we're not going to do that this time, actually. We're, gonna, we're just going to um, actually just uh, draw a, a black background here, and uh, draw a, a background color here. And I'm going to show you how that works. So uh, I'm not going to have a background. Um, just so you know, we can, uh, if I say new in-game screen, it can take us, if I just click here and do that, it'll take us to that world. Of course, it's empty. There's nothing in there yet. So let's go back and do my world to go, we can go back to the world we were in. Let's change the code of the in-game screen so we can, um, so, so, we, so it'll look like what we want it to look like. What I'm going to want to do is I'm going to, to draw the world, I'm going to, um, make it make the color all black background and uh, then it'll just say game over in the in the middle right um, so w to draw what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna actually need to create a um, we're, we're gonna need to create an, an image that's gonna represent the background of the screen so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a new what's called a green foot image a green foot image is a uh, image that's that green foot can do things to to draw on and so on actually the 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 pictures we have in here these here the pizzas and the car and everything are also green foot images so we're, we're going to make our own image and we're going to draw in it so um, i'm going to say bg green foot image bg equals new green foot image Now, we want the image to be the width of the world and the height of the world. We know the width of the world and the height of the world is 600 and 400, so I could just do it this way. Oops, sorry. I could just do it, and, and by the way, this is the super. I'm not going to explain exactly what super means because that's a pretty uh, a little bit of advanced concept. For now, just know that when I say super 600, 401, it means a world with a width of 600, a height of 400, and each cell is one pixel. I'll talk about the cells in a future lesson as well. So I could just say 600, 400. That's a new green foot image. This is one that, right, when you do, uh, I'll just show you. Um, that you're, 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 you have, you're, there's various kinds of green foot image, but one of them is the width, uh, you give the width and height of the image, right? Uh, and this should compile, this should work, um, uh, if I put a semicolon where it's supposed to be, where, right? But, but I, I don't want to do it that way, because what if I decide, obviously I won't in this case, but what if I decided I wanted to change the size of the world, right? Maybe I wanted to make it 800 by 600, then I'd have to go back and change this as well. Uh, Every time in Java that it's possible, you should never hard code a number. You should never put a number in more than once. What you'd like to do is get that number from somewhere else. And the world has uh, built into it a uh, get width and get height method. And if I so if I say uh, hit, hit here, you'll see there's a get width method. And here I'm going to say get height method. And this is a super important concept, not just in Java, in any programming whatsoever. You should never uh, hard code a number any more than you absolutely have to. Um, if, if you put in the, the width and height here, you should get the width and get the height using uh, one of the methods rather than uh, hard coding the number in again, right? Um, hard coding, when we say hard coding, we're saying we're putting this particular number in and uh, nothing is going to change it except me going and changing the code. So, okay, so uh, 
now we've got an image, right? It's, it's just a, a big empty image. There's nothing in there. So we've actually created a, a basically a big blank image here that we can do things to. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make it all black. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say BG. So BG is a Greenfoot image. Greenfoot images have certain methods to them and uh, if you hit bg dot and hit control space you'll see all of the methods in there um, I'm not going to go over all of them but draw image it would draw a picture then we can draw lines oval rects and then we can draw filled ovals filled polygons and fill rect we're gonna fill put basically put a big filled black rectangle over this but first we have to actually set the color that we're gonna do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do set color um, and which is right here and so basically this means that when we draw this is the color we're going to be drawing in so i'm going to say color dot and i'm going to say black um this is uh this is how greenfoot describes colors it's actually how um the the sort of super class thing of greenfoot uh java to awt defines colors in the old days, if you use my old lessons, you, you probably might remember me having to go up here and doing import java.awt.color. You don't have to do that anymore. Greenfoot now has colors built into it. Um, if you have used some of my earlier lessons and uh, if, if, if you've used some of my earlier lessons and done this, and you try and do this now it's going to compile it's not going to work um, so if you've done any of my earlier lessons and you're getting this error this particular error java.awt.color cannot convert it to greenfoot.color just go up and take this part out we don't need that part anymore um, and that's because they've updated greenfoot and made it so that uh, color is part of greenfoot rather than part of this other separate module called java.awt so, we now, now whatever we draw is going to be drawn in black. I'm just going to be a, a just a little thing here, right? Black, but what is black? Black is um, it's 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 a constant, right? Uh, it, it's 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 so colors are red, green, and blue, and black uh represents as a constant that represents the red zero, green zero, blue zero. I'll talk in more detail about how we actually make colors. Just for now, understand that. Uh, that we can the, these these are sort of predefined in here black red green uh, common colors like that um, if we want to get more specific we'll actually have to use red green and blue but I'm not going to do that just yet so uh, I'm now setting the color and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say bg dot and then I'm going to do fill fill rect means draw a filled rectangle here so we're going to draw a filled rectangle and we're going to do uh, and fill a rectangle the way we draw it. It's uh, basically the x and y coordinates where it starts, and then the width and the height, right? So uh, we want to start all the way up here, and then we want uh, the width and height to go all the way down to the corner there, right? So um, I'm going to do start at zero comma zero, and then we're going to go to get width and get height. So this is um, where we're drawing a filled rectangle that's going to fill up the whole screen. And I'll compile this and we can actually see what it looks like here. If I do new in-game screen. Oh, I forgot one thing though. I actually have to actually uh, make that the background color. So now what I'm gonna do is I can do, I have to do, um, set background so set background here we have set background green foot image this actually allows me to set uh, uh, so actually set take my green foot image which I just made and make that the background of my uh, by the way if, if I, I I probably wouldn't have to make this fill up the whole screen it will automatically uh, tile so if it was a, a smaller part it would just tile over the whole it would just tile that black over the whole thing so actually I could have made this any size it would just tile to fill the whole thing but I'll just make it the whole the size of the whole thing and so here we go here's my new in-game screen right it's it's all black right but uh, we'd like to do a little bit better than that we'd like to actually say something like game over you know game over man um, if you uh, watched uh, aliens you'll remember that that part um, so what we'd like to now we'd like to actually write the text game over. 
Um, I could do um, show text. Uh, as you kind of notice, the show text font is really ugly. And I'd like to do, uh, and I'm going to, so I'd like to um, draw it a little bit prettier, right? So we're actually going to um, uh, use some of the, the, the drawing commands for, uh, in, a, in an image to actually draw a uh, font or a text. Um, so first we have to say what font we're drawing in. So we're going to say font F. Again, if you did this before, I would have had to actually have to import the font module from java.awt. Don't need to do that anymore. Font is built into Greenfoot. If you don't know what a font is, it's like uh, Times New Roman or uh, Arial. It's just the, the shape of the letters, basically, right? What the, what the letters look like. Uh, I'm just going to be kind of boring about it. Um, I'm not uh, famous as a graphic designer. Every graphic designer job I ever got, I was fired. So uh, if you want good graphic design skills, you should go learn that somewhere else. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to say new. So I'm going to say new font. Uh, basically, there's, there's different kinds of... Uh, things you can do to construct a font, but I'm just going to do sans serif. Sans serif, that just means, um, well, this text here is sans serif. Serif, if you look at something like Times New Roman, it's got the little um, things sticking out at the bottom of the letters. Um, and so uh, sans serif is just, it's pretty much a font kind of like what this, what's on this screen. Um, if you, you can do serif and you'll see, you can try and see the difference if you want to play around. Or you can actually put in uh, the name of fonts here if you want to, if you want to do that. But I'm not going to. So, and then we'll say size 60. So this is uh, just the size of the pixels, how big the pixels are. I mean, how big the letters are, 60 pixels high. Now I'm going to say bg.set font. This means that when we do this, this is the font uh, that was going to happen when we draw some, some text. And then I'm going to do bg, oops, uh, well, with set font f. f is our font, right? This is we, so we created an object of type font, and we're setting that as the font that we're going to draw in, OK? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the color. Um, we, obviously, we don't want to draw in black or we're not going to be able to see it. So we're going to set color, color dot red. And so now if I do this again, and oh yeah, now I have to actually draw it. So now I have to do bg, oops, bg dot, and then there's a command called draw string. So draw string looks like this, and uh, we'll just say game over, man. And we'll now we're gonna want to put this in the middle of the screen. So we'll say get width. Well, the middle of the screen is divided by two. This isn't gonna quite work. I'll show you in a sec why it doesn't quite work. And we'll say get height divided by two because halfway across the screen is half the width and half the height, right? So um, so now we can do this, right? It's not going to be quite right, and I'll show you why. So you'll see, um, and notice how it starts in the middle, not, it does, it, we, we want it to actually start in the, uh, we, we want it to actually be centered in the middle. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to subtract some stuff. Um, so, and basically the, how big it is depends on how many letters we have. So um, if I'm going to assume that each letter is maybe 40 pixels wide, so I'm going to um, I'm going to change this. I'm going to say um, string message equals. I'm going to put that up here. Um, I'm going to put here. I'm going to put. So I'm going to just put this in a variable, and I'm going to draw that here, and then I'm going to say minus message dot and message is a string strings have certain methods that they do and one of them is length so I'm gonna say message dot length times say 20 I think each letter is about 40 pixels wide so we want it to be half the width of a letter so let's try that and see how that works so there we go more or less than that that, that this that figuring out the exact size of a letter is actually not uh, the easiest thing in the world so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it there 
So now we're, we're right. So now, um, now we have a, a game over screen, right? That's nice. So let's actually make. So let's go back to my world. So I'm going to click here and do new my world. We want to make the bomb uh, call the game over screen, right? So let's do that. So let's go to. So when the bomb explodes, we do see the little skull. We don't want the skull to just. We want. We want to have a second to. Um, you know, uh, plunge into despair as we watch this skull of uh, appear that that we were destroyed. So we, we do want to uh, you know rub it in a little bit first. So we can use the delay method, uh, greenfoot dot delay. So I'll say so before I create I call the game over screen. Let's give them a second to look at the uh, little uh, symbol of death and and plunge into despair first. So I'll say uh, greenfoot dot delay. And we'll say um, this is just a number of turns. So we'll de de delay like uh, 10 turns. I don't know, maybe that's too long. And then we'll say, so we'll say greenfoot.delay 10. And then now this is how we actually set the world. We use what's called the, the greenfoot.setworld command. So we'll say greenfoot and set world. And so our we're going to say new game over screen and we'll put some open and close parentheses we're constructing something so we every time we make a new object we have to put parentheses that's calling the constructor I'm going to show you in just a sec why that how that's useful what did I do here I spelled it wrong somehow oh sorry in game screen I spelled it wrong okay so now let's just watch and see what happens. Oh, I died, and there we go. Uh, 10 was a little bit short, so I might want to make it a little bit longer. I don't know, 20 maybe. You can decide that for yourself. Um, there we go. So that's that's. A, so now we have an in-game screen. But you know, we could actually win this game. Actually, we pretty hard not to win this game if you're actually trying. Um, so we'd also like the game to. Uh, we'd also like something to happen if we do win the game, if we do get all the pizzas, right? So uh, let's uh, go in here, right? So we'd, what we'd like to do is, um, so we, how, how, how can we tell when all the pizzas are gone, right? We need the world basically to count the pizzas and see if they're all gone. If the pizzas are all gone, then we won. So how can we do that? Well, let's go into my world. We have an act method. This is what happens every turn in the world. So we're going to make it count the pizzas. And we can actually do that. And we can just say, and here's what we can do, is we can say, we'll do an if statement. When we're going to say, if all the pizzas are gone, then we're going to go to the game over screen. So we'll say if, and then we'll say there's a get objects method in the world. Um, get objects, that one right there. Not get objects at, that's a bit different. We're going to say get objects. And we're going to say pizza dot class. So this is getting what um, Java calls a list of objects. A list just means it's like a variable that has more than one object or uh, primitive in it. So um, it's it's going to be so if there's if there's four all at the beginning of the game when it does this it will get a list of the four pizzas that exist on the game so we can see the size of that list and so lists have certain methods and one of them is size actually but what we'd really like to do a better one is we can see if the list is empty right so we want to see if the list is empty that means there's no pizzas left um, so this means uh, this is so what this does is it's going to get all the pe it's going to get a list of all the pizzas and then it's going to check to see if that list is empty that's what's going to happen if you've gotten all the pizzas and so then we will uh, also set a game over screen so we'll say set so we'll say greenfoot set world and we'll say new game over screen oops is it no end game screen sorry So let's try that out now. Oops, ha! Huh. Boy, this game is hard. I can't even win it. Um, so let's try again. Okay, maybe this game's a little harder than I thought, or maybe I just suck. Hang on. So. Okay, well, okay, so now we have a game, but I mean, let's face it, we actually won the game. We'd like to say something a little prettier than that, a little bit nicer than that, right? So, 
let's uh, let's 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 try that. Let's let's try and um, change something here, right? Let's let's make the uh, a prettier end game screen, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new constructor, a new constructor that allows us to have a different different colors and different messages. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do what's called extracting a method. And extracting the method just means basically taking a part because we're going to there's two different constructors, two different situations where you could do this, right? So and it really depends on uh, uh, it really depends on if if we won or lost, right? So I'm going to take this. I'm going to cut this out right then I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna make a new method called uh, the I'm gonna say public void draw okay so this is going to do the same thing, but what we're going to do is we want to um, we want to change the color that we can draw, right? So um, the two specific colors we're going to change is the background color and the text color, and we're also going to want to change the message. So, um, so we're, what we're going to do is we'll say color bg color. So this is where we're we're expecting of an argument of type color that's the background color. We'll say another one color dot color text color and then we'll say string message so when we call this we're going to tell it what the background color is what the text color is and what the message is going to be so the this this is the background color right um, and so we're going to say um, this is going to be BG color uh, the font color this is the font color we'll say um, text color the right now the message okay so message right before we had the message kind of hard coded in here but we're going to get rid of this because the message is going to be passed to us as an argument and so now we can in the end game screen the normal end game screen we can say you can call the draw screen method I'll say draw screen and we have background color is color dot black. The text color is color dot red. And the message is game. So this should now do the same thing that we had before, I think. So let's just um, make sure that this still works. It still does. OK. so. Um, now we're going to want a different kind of world. Where so we're going to now make what's called a new constructor. This is the constructor. It's different from the other methods. All the other methods have to say in here what they return. Uh, they'll say public void whatever. Later on, we'll return things like uh, integers and strings and other or even other objects. Um, the constructor does not is the only thing that does not have a uh, return type in it notice it has the exact same name as the name of the class so this is the thing inside the class that actually makes it come into existence this is the thing that method that gets called when uh, the class is created now some classes you don't see a constructor in there it's still in there it's just uh, it's it's hidden from you if you don't put a constructor in there there will still be a constructor um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a new public end game screen so we're going to do we're, I'll just copy this and then I'll paste it and now it's gonna give me an error because it's like you already gave me an end game screen uh, constructor but we, we want to say we're, we're making a different one uh, so this new in-game screen color is going to have these same and I'm just going to copy these it's going to have these same arguments we're going to have um, the we're going to so I'll just highlight these because we have okay so now it's okay so now we're saying um, a, a new in-game screen uh, but this in-game screen has a background color passed to it, a text color passed to it, and a message passed to it, right? So now I'm going to replace this color dot black with the BG color. 
the color dot red with the text color and the game over with the message. So just to be clear, what's happened when we construct this world, we say make a new in-game screen, we're going to put a color for the background, a color for the text, a and a string for the message. That's going to become put in here, then th it's going to call this, um, so that background color is going to become this background color, that text color, color is become this text color, and that message is going to become this message. And it's going to uh, draw a new world with the, that background, the background color we pass, the text color we pass, and the message that we pass. So let's try doing that. So let's go back to the uh, My World, and we'll say, so we're going to make a new in-game screen. So let's make the background... Um, Again, uh, uh, this is not the place to come for graphic design uh, uh, lessons. Um, you can get that somewhere else. So this is probably not going to be the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll be nicer. I'll make it color dot green, and then I'll make this one um, color dot blue, and then I'll make this. Um, so we'll say uh, U one. Okay, and so now. Boy, let's see if I can win this game. You won. There it is. And so, again, probably not the prettiest thing in the world, but so now we have a game that ends with a proper uh, in-game screen if you lose and if you win. Uh, again, not winning the Game of the Year awards. Uh, next lesson, I'll see you and we'll make a much better game than this. See you then.